only recently became his official trainer. Yes. yes. And what, what can you tell me about Leduan for his upcoming fight? Wow. Um, you know, I don't know the opponent yet. Um, it's probably going to be somebody, obviously, at six foot one, it's going to be somebody shorter. So we know we have that. Um, probably somebody with a little bit more experience, a little bit of a step up fight. This is going to be his last six round fight, and then we're going to move him to eight round fights. Um, so really what we're looking for is a lot of what we saw in the early fights, a little bit more of the power, you know, bringing out the power and, you know, working through you know, guys that want to hold him once he hurts him. So. Since he's going to move up to eight rounds now, yes. are we going to see him less? Are no, him no, maybe? you'll see him more. I, I think you'll see him probably after this fight, you'll probably see him uh, three more times this year. Three more times this year? Yeah. Oh, that's good news. And Pat, hey, can you tell me how long you've been in boxing? Uh, wow. Um, let's see. I'm 46 now. So since I was eight years old, so right about 38 years. So that's a long time. That is a long time. Yeah. So there's no way. I mean, he's gonna. He's yeah. have someone with a lot, a lot of experience yeah. on his side. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and, I, and I've been very fortunate. I've worked with great trainers uh, from Eddie Fox to Ronnie Shields to Georgie Benton to you know some. I mean, a really Emmanuel Stewart. I've been in camps with, so I've really been fortunate enough to um, to really have some quality uh, mentors over the years. Leon Bartolomé is the younger brother of an Olympic champion and a yeah, world champion. Yeah. Is that obviously an advantage for him because he gets other experience? But do you see anything different on him? I, I do. He's got a, he's got a better pro style than um, than obviously than Jan. Um, he sits down on his punches a little bit better than Rancis does. He's not so much of a boxer, he's more of a puncher um, than Rancis is. And, and the, his height where, with where he's at and his weight um, is a huge advantage to him. Whereas Rancis, you know, at 140 pounds right now, he's starting to run into guys that are as big as he is. So we're gonna take advantage of the height, uh, the height, the reach, and the weight advantage as long as we can. So. Well, it's gonna be for a long time because he can eat, but he doesn't get it. Yeah, anyway. it's it's almost it's almost I almost worry about him from that standpoint. But um, you know, as you notice right now, he's a lot more muscular. He's probably starting camp at a little higher weight this time than he has in previous you know, previous camps. So hopefully that translates into him being a little bit heavier on fight night than he normally has. One last question, if you don't mind, a that Cuban style that people talk about, you say that he's not a boxer, he's more of a puncher. Yeah. Yeah, how, how do you see that? You know, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I see him with um, a lot of traits of uh, the Cubans because his defense and his footwork is unbelievable. And then, um, I but I see him with, um, you know, a lot of the traits of the American fighters, you know, guys with, you know, guys with a really big punch. So, um, actually, and, and, you know, to a, to a certain degree, I see a lot of Eastern European in him. Um, in, in the way that he, in the way that he, he just, he sits down, he rotates his hips all the way through his punches. It's, it, there's, there's nothing to correct him. I can tell you there's nothing to correct on him, fundamentally. So we just have to add to, uh, you know, showing him little tricks and you know, things to you know, when guys start holding on to him, and so he knows what to do. When guys try running from him, so he knows what to do. Um, working with him a little bit more on cutting off the ring, um, but fundamentally his, his punch mechanics, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. Thank you, Tom, for the opportunity of allowing us to be here. Thank you for being here.